How to control your cravings and hunger? If you control the craving, you control the food intake. This comes before this. Most people try to control the food intake without controlling the cravings, and they fail. Your cravings are controlled by two factors. First, your gut, and second, your blood sugar and hormones. Your gut has trillions of bacteria in your colon called the gut microbiome. When you eat fiber, the bacteria that's in your colon eats all that fiber. You see the green? But when you don't have a lot of fiber in plants in your diet, and when you don't give the bacteria fiber, they starve. And they start eating you. And see, the green bacteria is good bacteria, the red bacteria is bad bacteria. Look how much more red bacteria there is when you have a fiber-free diet. And that's a problem with a low-carb diet. It's not rich in fiber. That's why people get cravings and they fall off. So to take care of your gut and your gut microbiome, you gotta up your fiber and plant nutrients. Now the second aspect is your blood sugar and hormones. Whenever you eat food, that raises your blood sugar level. Now depending on the food you eat, your blood sugar can go like this or like this, and this is called a spike. So let's say you start your morning with a high sugar smoothie, low in protein, maybe a bagel, or maybe even cereal. These are all high glucose spiking foods. So now your blood sugar spike and your body releases insulin to control the blood sugar. Now because the blood sugar spikes so high, the body released more insulin than it should because it's trying to protect you. And now the blood sugar comes crashing down, your blood sugar goes lower than it should, and now this is the period where you get hungry. The cravings kick in, you're hungry, you start feeling brain fog, tired, and now you snack. And since most of our snacks are high sugary snacks, like granola bars, chips, muffins, donuts, coffees, bubble teas, blood sugar goes spiking up and crashing again. And that spike in the morning will cause you to eat more calories, be less focused. Your insulin never gets a break to come back down. And look, you start feeling more cravings, you're more hungry, so you start eating more calories. It's just this vicious cycle. You can't focus, you think something's wrong with you, but it's just your blood sugar is going up and down and you're eating throughout the day. And this is well documented in science. And nobody tells you about this. They just got you focused on calories. But look at the effect of 150 calories of donuts versus 150 calories of Greek yogurt. Completely different effect on your blood sugar and insulin levels. Now I'm not saying calories don't matter, but you have to control this. Now there's people out there that'll tell you to do keto, low carb, and I'm happy for those people, but I'm Indian. I can't sustain that, so here's what I do. I control my carbs with fiber, because rather than a spike, fiber creates hills, not spikes. So your blood sugar's steady, and your insulin levels stay under control. And look at the difference between oranges versus orange juice. This is on your glucose level. Orange juice spikes higher and crashes more, creating hunger because there's no fiber. But look at the insulin spike. It's 50% higher. 